Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting system of equations. Equations are x plus y plus z equal to 4. Let's call equation number 1. xy plus yz plus zx equal to 1. Equation number 2 and x square y square plus y square z square plus z square x square equal to 49 and we will consider this is equation number 3. Now if we think about one cubic equation whose roots are x, y and z, then we need to know three terms. First term, the sum of roots, which we are knowing as equation number one. Sum of roots pairwise or taken two at a time, it is known. Only term is missing, that is x, y, z, the product of roots. So my target is to find out x, y, z. So for that purpose, I will begin with one algebraic and powerful identity. It is a plus b plus c whole square. Formula is a square plus b square plus c square plus twice in bracket a b plus b c plus c a. So from equation 2 and 3, if I will consider here x, y plus y, z plus zx whole square then here i need to write x square y square plus y square z square plus z square x square plus two times in bracket x y square z ab plus y z square x plus z x square y Now in next step, I will take x, y, z common from this bracket. So it will become plus 2x, y, z and in bracket it would be left y plus z plus x. Now you can see, let me write here so that we can put the values given in this problem. A square is equal to x square, y square plus y square z square plus z square x square. Let's put our values. As you can see from equation number 2, we will put here 1. So it will become 1 square equal to. From equation number 3, I will substitute 49 here. So it will become 49 plus 2 times x, y, z. We will find out x plus y plus z equation number 1 I will write here 4. So let me write 4. So I can write take away 49 from both sides. So I can write minus 48 equal to 8 times x y z. Divide both sides with 8. So I will write directly x y z will become minus 6. Now task is done. Sum of roots, one cubic equation we can presume in our mind. Sum of roots is known. Sum of roots taken two at a time known. Product of roots known. So let's frame our cubic equation. So I can write one general formula. T cube minus T square times sum of roots. Then it will be plus T times sum of roots two at a time or pairwise roots two at a time and then i will be writing minus product of roots this is our formula so let's consider variable is t so i will write our equation as t cube minus sum of roots so it is 4 i will write 4 t square Sum of roots taken two at a time. So it is given to us as equation number two, one. So I will be writing here one t or t. Product of roots we have just calculated. It was minus six. So I will write here minus of minus six. So plus six equal to zero. This is one cubic equation. We have to find solution of this equation for our solutions x, y, z. 
so t is x y and z so let's solve this i will take help of rational root theorem so let's find the eligible factor of constant term 6 so i can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and plus minus 6 leading coefficient is plus minus 1 so once i will take ratio of constant to leading coefficient i will have eligible roots of this equation so let me consider it straight away i will substitute t equal to 1 so it won't match see 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 6 so it is 8 minus 4 it is not 0 so let me put here minus 1 so i can write minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 plus 6 is this true yes so that means x is equal to or better is to say t equal to minus 1 is our base solution now i will consider the coefficients of this cubic equation for synthetic division method to find out remaining two roots so coefficient of t cube 1 coefficient of t squares t square is minus 4 coefficient of t is 1 constant coefficient is 6 we can write this one as it is now base solution is minus 1 i will multiply this value to this number so minus 1 times 1 minus 1 add both minus 5 again minus 1 times minus 5 5 add both 6 minus 1 times 6 minus 6 0 so these are basically co coefficients for our quadratic equation so i will write t square minus 5t plus 6 equal to 0 so we have to solve this quadratic equation to find out remaining two t values so let us solve so i will write t square minus 5t plus 6 equal to 0 we can use both the methods factorization method and using formula quadratic formula i will use factorization this time so i can split our central term minus 5t as minus 3t minus 2t as we know that 6 we can consider 3 times 2 so we can consider minus 3 and minus 2 so once i will add minus 3 and minus 2 then i will be having my central term or middle term if i will multiply both i will be getting this constant 6 constant term so i can write plus 6 equal to 0 once i will take t common t minus 3 and minus 2 common again i will be having t minus 3 in the bracket so t minus 3 is overall common so i can write our factors like t minus 2 t minus 3 equal to 0 so from here we can write t equal to 2 and 3 so far we have calculated three values so if i will write all minus one is our first base solution minus one and two and three so what is t t is x y z the roots of cubic equation which is framed in variable t so let me write our answer ordered pairs so x y z we can begin with three roots let me write here roots also minus one two and three so i can write minus one two three minus one three two then we can consider here two then i will be writing minus one and three and change their position three and minus one now i will write here third root three minus 1 and 2 then i can write by changing its position 2 and minus 1 so overall six ordered pairs are possible as our solution i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck